hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going to finally finish our picture in the wizard of oz by fabiana Atanasio. i hope you all have been really enjoying this color along so this will be the end result of our picture of what we're going to achieve today i'm going to kick things off using 30 percent cool gray and usually toto is brown in the movie or at least from the images that i've looked up again i've not seen the movie but I'm going to keep up with continuity's sake in my book because I already made her black and I'm just going to continue with that and she was a she in real life her name was Terry but I think in the movie it was a he not really sure but like I said I'm going to keep my Toto black Just crossing my fingers and saying a little prayer, literally like I do every time before I color fur because it just gives me so much, so much anxiety, but I'm going to use 70% cool gray, at least I believe that's what this is. Now double check because I have a really tiny pencil and I'm not sure, but in order in my pencil case, I think it's 70% cool gray, but yeah, just double check the number. But that's going to be the second color that I'm going to use for my Toto's fur. I don't even recollect what I used the first time I colored Toto on that other picture. I really don't because y'all know I don't write stuff down. I'm too lazy so I'm just going to wing it. But essentially she will come out black to match kind of sort of on the other page. But yeah. I was really nervous coloring fur as I always am because my fur coloring skills are not the best and I really want to improve but I hate doing it but I really try to give it my best every time I am presented with a picture with fur on it because my want to color a picture outweighs the anxiety and fear that I get <laughs> trying to color the fur. But I really hope you all are enjoying the color along if you're following along or if you're just watching to find some new color combinations or some tips or tricks. I appreciate it. I know most people will probably just skip to this final part anyway just to see how the picture comes out. That's okay if you do that. I still appreciate you clicking on my video to at least do that. So we are just going to continue with our fur here and it kind of is a bit easier because Fabiana has drawn some directional strokes of how the fur should look so that is very helpful when an illustrator or an artist does that because it really helps you and it kind of guides you to know how you should approach it and I really like when I have some help in that area So here I'm just taking a step back to see how I would like to continue to progress and I suggest you do the same too in your pictures because it really helps you get a different perspective, a different viewpoint and you can see what you need to add and how you need to continue and if you do fur differently go ahead and do your fur how you normally would do your fur. I am just giving it my best even though I am very trepidatious when it comes to fur no matter how many videos I watch because I watch a lot of fur tutorials and fur videos I still 
it goes over my head and I still just do my own way because that's how I learn best personally so however you color your fur go ahead and do it your way just go ahead and try it like I do just do it (laughs) jump in and give it a go
super tips time so i'm going to use a red super tips marker and i'm going to base toto's little jester collar here and i'm using red because i'm bringing red down because we have red on the machine just trying to keep the page cohesive next i'm going to take black and i'm just going to color in every other stripe underneath the collar just because i think it'll look cool and it won't look so plain you don't have to do this you can make it whatever color you want but that's what i'm choosing to do So now I'm going to make some little diamond shapes on Toto's collar. I was using my pasta and then quickly realized that the nib is too thick. So I'm going to switch to my Sharpie pen because I don't know why I didn't think that think of that in the first place. But I'm going to use it to draw my diamond shapes neater and so that they actually look like diamonds and i'm just doing this because i feel like it'll go with the court jester theme because i think in my mind that's where those collars come from i could be wrong but yeah i'm just going to do this because i think it'll add something interesting and you can forego this step if you want but y'all know i always just add things <laughs> to my pictures my own personal touches so that's what I'm going to do here. Now comes the fun part. So we are going to break out our gouache and these are the colors that I'm using. You'll need a palette, a paintbrush, because we are going to tackle the wizard's curtain. So I'm choosing to use gouache because I was going to use acrylic paint and then I chose not to do so. So I took inspiration from a picture that I found on Pinterest. I was going to do a galaxy and then I was like, nah, I want something a bit more trippy. So I decided to just do a bunch of not necessarily swirls but like waves of different greens and so I just got crazy and that's all I did so I didn't record this step fully but I'm not doing anything special as you can see I'm just swiping my paintbrush add water to your gouache because if not it's not as workable and that's just a tip that I'm learning because wash is a water-based 
type of media but yeah i'm just taking all the colors that i just showed you and just mixing them and swishing them swiping them every which way just having fun playing in paint because i like to play in paint and i don't know it's just satisfying so that's all i'm doing nothing special nothing fancy I'm just mixing the colors and that's why you should add water because it dries so yeah, you can choose to do whatever you would like, but like I said, I took inspiration from that picture I found on Pinterest, and I decided not to do the galaxy, but to just try to use some of the colors in that color family, and yeah, I just had fun, so have fun. Oh, I meant to say, of course you can do whatever you want for your curtain, but I'm doing greens because, you know, Emerald City, and I just wanted to paint that pattern out. It was extremely too busy. I was not ever in a million lifetimes going to sit there and color that ever. And I just think this is a bit more interesting and fun because we are going to add some extra things to the curtain. So stay tuned to find out. So over here, I was just being a bit too happy and getting paint everywhere as i always do when i paint you should see my hands when i finish this but i'm just continuing doing my little whatever on the curtain and just be careful more careful than i am because i got paint kind of places i didn't really want it and if you notice i am leaving that sliver of white right there as a separation from the dark room and the curtain and i'm going to personally leave that white in my picture you can paint it you can color it do whatever you want but i'm just going to leave mine like that Okay, so next I got my white acrylic paint. I watered it down, water it down to the opacity that you would like it, and just have fun splattering. You can skip this step if you want, but I don't need a reason to play in paint. I need no excuses. I like to play in paint. I just wanted to splatter paint. So I watered it down. Very important. Water it down. Not too much and not too little. You just have to find a good balance. And that's what I'm doing with my fluffy paintbrush. Fluffy paintbrushes work really well for this step. And I'm just splattering about my curtain. Hmm. 
Next, I have a really old toothbrush and I'm just going to use that same paint to do more splatters. The toothbrush really gets you a fine splatter and it just has a really cool effect. And I got this tip from Coloring at V's and I love to use the toothbrush effect. Now, you could cut out a piece of paper and use it to shield what you don't want the paint to be on, but I'm too lazy for that. So I'm just using a paper towel to kind of help guide me, even though I still got paint <laughs> in places, but that's totally fine with me. So this will be the end result of once you add the paint splatters. So that was super fun for me. So hope you enjoyed watching. Now I'm going to come in with my white gel pen, which was giving me trouble for some reason. Then my Posca gave me trouble for some reason. I was just having a bit of a difficult time trying to add a couple of stars. So I literally only added two because I was just having a difficult time. and I didn't want to break out a tiny paintbrush with white acrylic paint, which you can also do. But I was just like, to heck with it. So that's what our curtain is looking like. So now I'm going to take my white Posca and I'm just going to fill in his eyebrows. This Posca wanted to leak, so I had to use the nib to spread the paint that leaked out around. So hopefully you will not have these problems. You will have a fruitful endeavor with your Poscas or your white gel pens that you're planning to use. But I just was on the front seat of that struggle bus. But I got it done. I just wanted to fluff out his eyebrows just a teeny tiny bit. I totally forgot to add some green to my curtain so I'm just watering it down a little bit and adding some green to enhance my curtain. As you can see I'm about to start the most fun thing ever which is adding your stickles. However, when I added my stickles, I totally forgot that I wanted to do a fog effect on my picture and then go in and add other things. Stickles are the frosting on the cake. They should be done absolutely last so you don't smear them everywhere so that they can dry. But I had too many afterthoughts of things that I forgot to add in my picture and I'm going to do them after I have added my stickles so don't be like me so first I use Christmas red now I'm using golden raw as always all the colors will be listed in the, the description box below what was that all the colors will be listed in the description box below for my pencils for the stickles so just always check the description box because it does contain helpful information but now I'm using black diamond on Toto's collar but yeah, I totally spaced out and did stickles when I was like, I have so many other things to add to this picture. But I just think I got too excited. <laughs> too excited to add the stickles. So, that's what happened there. Now I'm going to use some glossy accents and it's by Ranger, the same company that makes the stickles and I'm just going to put them on his glasses. That's I think that's the only place that I use them because I wanted them to have a reflective surface and I just like how glossy accents look. They look really cool. Oh, I lied. I'm totally putting some on the buttons. I forgot I did that. <laughs> well, I put some on the buttons. I am so ill concerned with the page that's on the opposite of this i could not tell y'all it's the ugliest thing i've ever seen 
and I hate it so I don't really care about using stickles on this side with the wizard now the side with the curtain has a picture that I do want to color in the future so that's why I didn't mind using stickles but see this is what I meant you have to work around the wet stuff and not smear it just just be careful but what I'm doing here was I was showing you white acrylic paint because I, that's how I did those swirls I watered it down and then I ended up smearing black everywhere because I totally forgot that gouache will reactivate with water. I was just having a difficult time at the end of this picture. And I was like, no, I've come too far to screw up now. So on top of the watered down white acrylic that I used for these swirls, I'm just going to use my Posca. And this leaky ass Posca, it leaked and it was a struggle. And I was like, why is this happening? Just why? But I persevered. I pushed through so all I'm doing is making some little magic swirls and that's what I did at the top so now I'm going to take my espresso and I'm going to do my shadows because I totally forgot that I need shadows under his shoes and I need shadow under Toto so this is what I mean by do your stickles last do not be like me don't follow in my horrible footsteps of an example <laughs> And do your stickles and then have to work around them because that is the most uncomfortable, awkward, horrible thing to do because it's like you have to be hyper aware that you're not putting your hand and everything in all the wet stuff. So I'm just taking espresso, making my shadows, and I decided to do the magic mist because I wanted to do it, but I had forgot that I wanted to do it. So that's why it's last minute. And now I'm just using a regular green Posca to just make some dots, some bigger ones, some little ones, just to add to my magic sparkle effect. Because in my mind, I feel like that the sparkle and magic is happening behind the curtain. So it's coming out because he has the door open. So that's all I'm doing here. And these nibs are the 3M, so they're not the tiniest to draw stars, but I just wanted to add a couple just to make something interesting. Because I don't know how to leave well enough alone. I had to add some stickles to the magic mist because it's magic and it needs it, of course. So I'm just showing you the sparkle and I'm going to go ahead and put some at the top. But after I do that, we will pretty much be done with this color along. I'm so happy to have finished this as quickly as I did. I was really motivated and I really liked the end result of this picture. I don't really have too many qualms about anything. So if you followed along, I truly appreciate it. Um, I appreciate it even if you just like I said clicked on this one just to see the outcome and hope y'all had as much fun as I did and it feels good to have a color along on the channel um, now and not months and months ago something that we've done so this is the end result and I'm just showing you trying to show you the glitter and the glossy accents that I put my hand in because ugh, I'm such a klutz but yeah, this this was really fun. I hope you all have enjoyed. Hope you learned something or you took something away from this because I really feel like I created a couple of interesting tips. So take care and I hope to see you all in my next video.